Right, everyone. Could have your attention. Speech! Speech! First of all, we've had a great night tonight. It's been blinding. But we thought we ought to tell you all that... Oh, my God! You're pregnant. <laughs> no. We set a date. Oh. oh. We want to get married on the 6th of April, which would have been Dad's 50th birthday. Oh, that's lovely. That is Stacey. They've been so proud. Is that the 6th of April next year or the 6th of April as in only eight weeks from now? As in eight weeks. <laughs> I need a fag. Well, it's not ideal, but it's doable. Now, Mick, you're going to have to call in a favour at the golf club tomorrow. I'll ring up those lovely caterers that Dawn had for her mum's funeral. Oh, that was a smashing day. Now, as for the church... Mum, we're getting married in Wales. What? We're getting married in Barry. I don't think so. Well, we are, Mum. Oh, no, you're not. Mick, tell him. Look, let's talk about this tomorrow. Well, what's the matter with Barry? Barry Island! Oh, we're going to have the wedding reception on the log flumes. Oh, we don't live on the actual island, Oh, and what's on the menu for the wedding breakfast? Hot dogs and candy floss. What? All served up by a jipper on a donkey. I beg your pardon? Oh, well, don't worry about the honeymoon. Just go a battling. Come on, Pam. Shush. If that's what they want, that's what we'll do. I'm going for a smoke. Michael, I am not traipsing the best side of my family all the way down to Wales to see my son, my only son, get married in some dirty fairground. Well, I don't want my daughter getting married in Essex. I mean, what's she going to wear? A, a mini skirt and white stilettos? Ma'am, don't be so rude. No, everyone just calm Me down. You just keep out of this. You've caused enough trouble. Pam, it is tradition for the bride to be married in her hometown. Yeah, and it's also tradition for the bride's family to pay for the wedding. And that's not happening either. How do you mean? You are paying for the lot. Am I? Oh, Since yeah? when? You never oh, said. Sure, so we didn't even know. Oh, stop staring at me. I just wish somebody had told me. Well, I'm sorry, Mick, but your wife gave us a phone. My dad's already known you. Get a rest, you leek, munchy, sheep, shagger. Look at yourselves. Will you just look at you yourselves? Oh, we live in a cynical world. A cynical, cynical world. And tonight, we have the chance to build a wonderful family that spreads across two nations. And all that matters is that those two families are joined by these two young people. Who cares where they get married? What matters is they are getting married. All the rest, the golf clubs, the dresses, the cars, the monies, it don't mean diddly. All that matters is that on the 6th of April, Gavin and Stacey will commit the rest of their lives to each other. And I, for one, will be proud to be there when they do, wherever it is. Me too. Me too. And me. So sorry to what came over me. It's fine. I think it's the menopause. I think it's the gin. <laughs> Mud. I know. I fell over. 